What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Ball State game. We are ranked fifth in the nation. The Ohio Bobcats are ready to do some more damage in the back. And uh, Ball State's going to be our next victim. Guys, hope you guys are happy. Welcome to the weekend. It's Friday. You know, kick back, relax. Work week is done. School week for those of you that are in college or in high school, whatever it may be. Welcome to the weekend. Uh, I'm going to check in on recruiting real quick. See what we got going on with the recruiting board. Devontae Adams to the Raiders. The tournament's underway. Lots of sports talk to uh, discuss. Real quick, let me just uh, offer this guy a scholarship. I don't know why we haven't done that yet. Baseball's coming back. Freddie Freeman to the Dodgers. Tom Brady's... I already mentioned that in the last video. Tom Brady's coming back. I'm getting ready, you two star. Uh, this guy's going to Clemson. We're closing in. Ah, gosh. I'm going to hang on to him. Because we are second on the list here for Darren Roberts from Wickenburg, Arizona. I live very close to Wickenburg in real life. I should go talk to him, convince the young man. Um, we, go, we got the lead for four-star Matt Millis from Monroe, Georgia. Four-star wide receiver. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the lead for Brian Weldon. Austin Rollins, four-star athlete. Know, all these guys, this is who we want, though, man. We want this five-star running back. Oh, we've got a great lead here for three-star quarterback Greg Reynolds. Where's that other quarterback that we were going to pick up? Let's see. Ah, uh, real quick, guys. Reynolds, Dustin Merrick, there he is. Okay, I gotta move him up on the on the recruiting board here. Quick, I couldn't find him. Oh, oops, not recruiting any fullbacks at the moment because I don't run an I formation. I run shotgun only. Who committed to us? Oh, yeah. Four-star defensive end, Brett Tyler. He committed to us. That's awesome. I love playing with a defensive end, too. There it is, Dustin. Gonna move him up. I'm gonna try and get this guy. Commit. Kansas has leads us by a little bit. Hopefully, once he visits Athens, he'll be sold on being a Bobcat. All right, guys. Let's play the game. Um, yeah, so what's going on? Uh, we got Devontae Adams. He's heading to the Raiders. He got $150 million over, what, five years, I think it was? Um, that sucks. I'm a Packer fan, and uh, that one stings a little bit. But we're going to get two good draft picks out of it, which the Packers will totally botch, and it won't matter at all. And we're just going to miss out on a great player leaving. Um... Okay, here we go. I'm pumped for this one. This is going to be a great game. What do you guys think about me moving Ohio to the Big Ten next season? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, go ahead and click the link in the description below. And you guys could become patrons. Patreon is a patron. Patreon. You guys can become patrons, and you know you could give however much you want a month. It could be fifty cents. It could be one cent, a dollar. It'd be much appreciated to support the channel. Hi everybody. The first ten Patreons are going to be on next season's roster for Ohio. So. 
You guys are the best. Thank you so much to those who have already uh, subscribed, became Patreon. We're number one in the nation in rush yards allowed. I like that. 12th in the nation in pass yards allowed. Let's go. We better get some more picks, though. Come on, boy. We drop a lot. We drop a ton of interceptions. Shippen Stadium, number five, Ohio versus Ball State. Let's go, guys. We're going to kill these dudes. Defer till the second half. Can't. Not a lot of fans in the stadium for this one. Servos. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Oh, this looks like a high school stadium. I like it though. It'd be fun to do a Ball State dynasty. If I'm gonna be quite frank with you. It'd be nice to get a blowout victory, you know, like a 52 to 10 one. It's coming sooner or later. Use a tackle. That brings up second and nine. Let's bring the corners on a blitz. Yeah, corner Motley got in there, baby. <laughs> But yeah, Freddie Freeman's heading to the Dodgers. That's pretty cool. Um, not cool for Braves fans, but let's fucking go. That's how we stop them. Fourth down, let's go. Don't give them shit. The Dodgers can just buy their way to a championship, even though they're not going to win the championship. Harris. They are one of those teams, and like I know they won in the COVID shortened season, but if that was a regular, oh goodness, if that was a regular 162 game season, they would not have won. I can guarantee you that. They just like the Lakers did. They benefited on that weird little bubble that they had going on down in Florida or whatever. I think that's where the NBA bubble was, Florida. I can't remember. I didn't give a shit about that bubble. Yeah, I almost threw a pick. Oh my goodness. That would have been depressing. Um, yeah, Lakers and Dodgers got stupid championships. I still think the Tampa Bay Lightning benefited from two stupid championships. Um, they had that, uh, the NHL season was cut short, then they went to the bubble, and basically they were just COVID champs that year. Such a huge pause in the season. Anyone could have won back, you know, if the season had been great. I'm fucking going for it. Screw these Ball State assholes. Um... We're going to run the same exact play. Yeah, I think Tampa Bay benefited. And then they went on and won. Last year's Stanley Cup was a little bit more respectable. Let's go. But still, like, that was a COVID season. They had the Canadian division where it was basically set up where a team from Canada was going to make the playoffs no matter what. And then... It was just weird how the Canadians made it past Vegas and then uh, weaseled their way in, got past Vegas, got into the Stanley Cup Finals, and it was like a joke for Tampa. Once Tampa played them in the Stanley Cup Finals, they beat them, what, four games to one? It was just like, I don't know, dude. I look at a real championship team like the 2019 uh St. Louis Blues, those guys were a true champion. Um, 
Hold on. Shit, 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 shit. Woo! Uh, 2019 Washington Nationals. Those guys were true fucking champions, dude. They came back from, like... I think the Nationals were like, I'm rambling here, sorry. The Nationals were down three, three, like three weeks into the season. Oh, look at work go. Three weeks into the season, they were like 15 games back. And I think near like the halfway point of the season, they were like still way behind and then they stormed all the way back. Made this great run. And uh, same with the Blues in 2019. Oh, look at Ross. Let's go. The Blues were like the worst team in the league halfway through the season. And then they came back and won the Stanley Cup. And then they, they beat a bunch of great teams on the way there. Same with the Nationals. I'm using those as, as examples. Those were the two champions before... COVID and MLB and NHL, but like, a freshman, let's go. Anyways, long story short, this fucking bullshit Tampa Bay Lightning team, they're not going to win this year. The Dodgers aren't going to win this year. Um, because they benefited from those weird COVID seasons. Last year was a full, full MLB season. And look at the Dodgers lost. So. The Dodgers are a bunch of chokers. But maybe Freddie Freeman will help them. Who knows? I'm going to hand it off to Ross here. That was a long ass drive. We're going to do a screenplay to uh, AJ Rogers. Hopefully, it's a touchdown. Ball State Stadium is pretty cool. Oh, I shouldn't have thrown it. A low freaking scoring game so far. Obviously, no, touch, no, no, no one scored. All right. Second down at 14. Ball on the 18-yard line. I remember my girlfriend in high school beat me in uh, this game. Because she was doing one button mode, and in one button mode, like whatever, like if you're passing, all you have to do is press hike, and then you press X again, and the quarterback will throw it to the open guy. Anyways, she just kept throwing it to that arrow route. She kept picking the same play, and like forever, dumbass Eric in high school couldn't defend that. I guess I don't know. Anyways, she would just throw it to the open receiver. Which is like totally unfair. She beat me. And I was like, that was one of the worst memories I ever had. God, I was third down. Shit. Going for it. Keep. Touchdown. Let's go. Let's fucking go, boys. Dude, that drive was like 50 plays. Fuck your update, Reese Davis. It's Ohio time. Excellent kick. Let's get a pick. Oh, 
Evans doing Evans things. Let's go. He's even closer now to that school record for sacks in a single season. School record for sacks in a single season. Teams, triple teams, chip blocks. We we're only seven games in. You name it. Nothing's been able to slow this guy down. Yeah, let's go, Evans. He beat or he tied it last year, I believe. So the sack makes this a second and long. He tied the record, so he'd just be beating his own record. Get that tackle, bro. And he carries the ball for Third and 11. Let's stop him. Come on. No bullshit right here, boys. Come on. Let's go, Evans. Get the sack, dude. Oh, they're running it. Don't fucking get this. Out. Let's go. Great call, Ball State. I'll take that any day. Let's go. It's Ohio football, baby. Two, two, here comes the train. Harris is back awaiting the punt. Harris. Oh. The 34. He's taken down at the 39. Did not mean to spin there. In a game that's this close, All right, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ohio is upset. Let's run with Dio Knock instead. Here's a running play. Oh my god. He forward to about the it looked kind of promising for a second. Down receivers, but that doesn't mean he won't come up and lay the lumber on the ball carry. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Freaking ball state, bro. Brown has shit. The most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. DL, baby, catches everything. I want to give this guy a freaking MVP of the season at the team banquet. Jack Culver's in Athens, Ohio. Ooh, solid run. Let's go. This team just continues to get better and better, man. Oh. Ooh, sick dark visor for that defender for Ball State. Down now, they need to get it down to the 37. Ohio is up by a touchdown. Good run, Lord. That's what senior quarterbacks do. I like how this game, like, if the team sucks, they don't have a lot of fans in the stadium. That's pretty cool. Slocky. Knock knock. Who's there? D.U. Call it a game of 10 yards. First down. From the 21 yard line. First down. Good run. Let's go. That brings us second and five. This is the ninth play of this drive. Man, I went to the gym earlier today. Woo! Got a good freaking workout in, man. Ah, come on, Ross. They make the stop at the 14. They've 
two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. He's on the run. Moving around the corner. Let's fucking go. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, work. We don't fucking lose, baby. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice 10 play, 61 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the 14 0. I thought the defense was on its heels. Most Get a pick, man, right before half and get so some more awesome. points. 14 0. Oh. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oh, we gotta have a big win here. Gotta impress the voters. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than impress their last the PCS computers. Oh, what a hit! Let's go. Baby a nice grab there. You know, maybe simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 30. Oh, they come out of an empty backfield. Oh, they got a first. Damn it. It's our first first down. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, Strip and the ball. result is a new set of downs. Let's go pick it, boys. Bullshit. That's some bullshit. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Yeah, let's freaking run it. Or not. Oh, fumble, bro. by the receiver to come down with that ball. This comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. I was looking forward to getting the first half, first half shutout. Damn it. Come on, Evan, strip set. Pick it up. Really. And hammered right there. Still might get it. Sometimes the computer likes to be a dumbass here. Here we go. Oh. Here we go, baby. Oh, hi. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Oh, it's a killer. Damn it. Come on. Come on. Oh, I missed. I missed. No, oh, thank God he slid. All right. Well, they're going to kick a field goal. All states call their final timeout. And this is the ninth play. Miss, 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 miss. Can we ice them here? I'm going to take the kill. Coach Tommy. I'm going to try and ice this ball state boy. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Oh, we got watch food. He gets it Dang, bro. That sucks. I wanted to shut these guys out in the first half. Alright, it's okay. We'll get the ball back. All right, I'll let you guys watch the halftime with Reese Davis and David Pollitt. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation 
Ben Excite. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it, and next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brandon Kirk, ready to roll. Score a touchdown. He just drills this one. To open up the second half. And he's taken down at the 15 yard line. We haven't been able to bust one this year with Kevon Harris back there for returning kicks. Both squads are close. digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. We didn't get one last year either. First down. Receiver in a hurry. Brought down around the 25 yard line. Knock, knock. Who's there? He yelled, knock, motherfucker. First down. Second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Busted that dude if the sideline wasn't there. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 25. So AJ. Tackle made at the 22 yard line. Freshman. And he's level at the 12 yard line. First down. I'm gonna try to hit DL knock on that shallow cross right here. Actually, we'll switch it up. We'll go with Cox. Make it a Cox slant. Ah, fuck. Now he tries to buy some time. Ooh, Cox, baby. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, I'm glad he delivered an accurate ball there, dude. I thought that was gonna go everywhere. But the receiver caught it. Let's go. And he adds the extra point. Let's get a fucking interception. Kick. It was a good kick. It goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Ohio's coach has just got to be happy. I love the coaching kid like this. Three touchdowns today by Mr. Work. Another great performance. Wait, let's get him in the Heisman punt conversation. Be you know, some sense of urgency to this top five right team. Now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives. They want to get back to killing it. Uh, nice lead. Fucking love his defense, dude. Ooh, Evans doesn't give a fuck. He gets fucking in there, baby. Give this guy defensive player of the year, man, across the whole nation. They'll spread the field with five wide. Get that fucking sack. No. No fucking way. They're going to go for it, you think? Third and two. I think they go for it. Yep. Uh, I'm so stupid. Oh, it's embarrassing. I even said third and two. You think they're going to go for it? I thought it was fourth down. Oh, shit. They deserve to get it after me being a dummy. Coach is a dummy. It's third down and two. You think they're going to go for it? Yeah, no shit, asshole. I thought it was fourth down. My bad, guys. Ah. These fuckers. Freaking Heisman mode, man. These shitty offenses can move the ball pretty good on you. No matter how good your defense is playing. School record sacks in the season. Look at that. He fucked that tackle up. He's earned his spot here. Oh my god, dude. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. At second and he just long. tied the record. We saw this guy head to the locker room a little bit earlier. Good to see him back on the sideline, and it looks like he could be returning to the game. Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. No gain on the play. Dude, Evans killed that quarterback. Get another set. Come on, Evans. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. No fucking way. Bro. So shitty. Shrink. Damn you, Shrink. Let's go Monster Green. Bring the heat. Oh. And he overshot his receiver on that one. Well, here the quarterback that needs to relax sick. down near the end zone. Step up and make a better throw. Hampton. We got second and goal. Ball on the four yard line. They spread the field in the gun. Pick. Come on. Receiver. He's scrambling. Wow, baby. Still clack. Dude, why aren't these guys fumbling? I put freaking. They come out aggressive on strip. Pick it up. Yeah, let's go, Hudson. Score. Shit up. Damn it. That guy was so fast. Hudson, dude, that should have been a pick six. Oh, that little stumble screwed us. I should have jumped when he dove the tackle. Finally, we get an interception. Holy smokes. Great job, Hudsey. <sighs> From their own 25 yard line, it's first down. Let's go for a bomb. Ah, God. <sighs> <sighs> no one was over. Good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. They might have a big lead, but those guys on offense don't look like they're letting up at all. And he carries 
Solid run. He's trying to deal on a. Um, on a uh, pass play here. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on the 19 yard line. Ah, and I throw a pick. Oh. Oh. No fucking way, bro. Pull it right back to where <laughs> where the ball state they was. Let's get a pick right back. Come on. Oh shit, bro. Okay. Let's put this one on ice. Read option all the way down the field. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. And I don't think this defense will lay down right. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Nice run up the middle. So at the end of three, the Bobcats lead 21-10. That was a sick touchdown. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Still. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. We had this running back in high school named John White. He went to the University of Utah. I don't know if some of you might remember him. He was on the Heisman list actually at one point for like a brief second. Now I think he still plays in uh, Canadian Football League. But dude, John White was the best running back I'd ever seen with my eyes. Like, ball on the 32. in person, I guess. Like, dude, you hand the ball off to this guy, he's downfield, like, before you could blink. That's kind of what Julian Ross reminds me of. Reminds me of. Those who know who John White is. Dude was a legend at our high school. Freaking beast, dude. He was a good fucking teammate too. Good dude. I missed that guy. He's on the run. Ah. Uh, I remember I went and saw him play at the LA Coliseum when uh, they played USC. Utah played USC and he scored a touchdown. That was so cool. He was a USC fan too growing up. Inside the 10, makes it to the 5. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment. Let's get Ross into the end zone. Nice Actually, let's see if we can catch, catch him off guard with a pass here. It's good deal knocking the end zone. Come on. No, nope, we're throwing it to you. He's out of bounds at the 5. Sure. They're at the five. We'll run it in. Second down. Under two to go. Let's go, Ross. Boom, baby. Let's go for two. Don't 
dun, 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 dun. Oh, that was so stupid. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Ball assistant turns. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down the end zone for a touchback. The Bobcats have a defense that's the sights of the holder. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line. Defense has been pissing me off in the second half, though. Everybody plays as one. Besides that interception, that was cool. But other than that, come on. Can we please get a fumble? Please. Oh, Evans, let's go! Yeah, school record. Yeah, he broke his own record from last year. And I'm sure he's happy to have this new record. Yeah, baby. Ten sacks. Let's go. Good job, Will. We're going to include that in the highlights. From their own 23-yard line, it's third down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Get him. Oh, he got another one. Let's go. He's broken the school's single game sack record. Uh, he's really forced them Broke. to change their offense. <laughs> back to back plays. He broke he's sack record. That's influencing Bro, a game. Ohio, let's go. Four sacks today for Will Evans. Gotta love it, dude. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Ohio, you gotta go down and score it. Come on. 34 10 final. Let's go. Return it. Maybe Harris can finally break one, huh? It's been... Not bad. Solid return. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Now he's scrambling. Scandy, come on. I gotta turn off the accelerated game clock at some point. Two-yard gain after all that. Well, now fucking Rourke's tired as shit. That's great. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. Caught with room to work. And they make Come the on, stop the 17-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Same shit. Nice catch, Ross. Hey, Brad, I don't really understand what the offense is doing. Correct me if I'm wrong. If they have the lead and we're late in the game, can there still be Yeah, because we've got to impress the BCS computers there for third street. But here they're stopping the clock and giving the other team a chance to get the ball back. Four-yard line. The Bobcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. 
I really want to score this boy. Come on. Let's just run the fucking game. And this is the if we don't score here, game over. Whatever. We still win. Oh, yeah. Love it. Well, boys, huge 24 point victory. Let's take a look at scores around the country. And for Eastern Michigan, they're in danger of dumping their third straight game. Ohio, ready to kick this one off. We outgame. Ball State, 327 yards to 126. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. All they had was that weird little touchdown drive. Or no, they didn't even have a touchdown drive. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously I threw a pick and the guy returned it to the five yard line. And they threw a touchdown like two plays later. Come on, one more fucking sack. Let's go. To the single game sack record. Well, this guy's putting on single a game sack on record for rusher. all of college He's football. So well Let's go, college, Evans. Come on, one more. A ton of intangibles that you just can't see. Oh, no. Get up. It in a hurry. Fumble. At the 38. Let's go, boys. Will Evans' dominant performance today. Five sacks for Mr. Evans. They better give him plenty of game. Let's see. How do you not give Will Evans player of the game? He broke two fucking Ohio defensive records. Oh well, Julian Ross, you had a hell of a game too, brother. Guys, another Ohio win. Hopefully we move up in the rankings, we'll see. You guys are the best, man. If you guys want to support the channel, go ahead and click the uh, link in the bio below, the description below. And you guys could become Patreons. Thank you so much for being here. Go Bobcats. God bless you all. We'll see you on the next video.